G'day, my name's Callan Thompson, Mixed Farm Advisor, Central West Local Land Services. Today I'm going to demonstrate taking forage samples to develop a feed budget using the Central West Local Land Services Pasture Square. Feed budgeting is an important skill that grazers can use to work out how much feed they have on offer for their stock. Knowing how much feed is in your paddock can be used to set stocking rates, work out how many grazing days you have in a paddock for a given number of stock, and to calculate yields of hay or silage crops. Firstly, we take out our pasture square and unfold it. Then we go to an area of the paddock that has a good representation of the rest of the paddock. We throw out our pasture square randomly, and where it lands, we cut the forage within the square down to ground level. We weigh this sample and record that weight in grams. We then repeat this process. The more samples we get, the more accurate the end result will be. I recommend taking at least 10 samples. We then calculate the average of these samples. We take a subsample from these total samples and take it back to our kitchen. Then we weigh the subsample, record the weight in grams, then put it in the microwave. It's very important to put a glass of water in the microwave. If we don't, do this, we could cause the microwave to catch on fire. We put the microwave on high for five minutes. When it comes out, we weigh it and record the number, again in grams. Continue to do this until the weight does not change. This means we've removed all the water from the sample and this is our dry sample weight. We use this formula to calculate kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Dry subsample weight divided by wet subsample weight times this number by the average wet weight. This gives us our dry sample weight. Then times this number by 110, which is specific to the Central West Local Land Services pasture square. This gives us kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Once we know how much dry matter we have per hectare, we can then do a feed budget. We develop a feed budget by working out our net supply and by knowing our livestock's demand. We take our dry matter per hectare, we minus the desired residual. That's how much feed we want to leave in the paddock when we pull the stock out. This gives us our available pasture. We work out our pasture growth rate in days per kilogram per day and we add that to our available pasture. We take our total available pasture minus the wastage, which is what we think stock will trample, and that gives us our net supply. Our net supply divided by the intake, the number of head, what they're going to eat, times by the grazing days, equals our stocking rate per hectare. So by knowing how much feed is in our paddock, we can set our stocking rates, work out how many grazing days we have in a paddock for a given amount of stock, and calculate yields of hay and silage. While taking forage samples, it's a good opportunity to send a sample away to get a feed quality test done. You can collect a feed test bag from any local land services office, and the sample is then sent to New South Wales DPI Labs. By understanding feed quality, you can make decisions on the type of stock you will graze on the paddock, and it can help you decide whether to supplement feed if required. You can also use the QR code on the pasture ruler to lead you to our website, or give one of your local ag advisors a call.